Hello. Today we got some Yona Gaming. The has <laughs> has nice car. <laughs> I forgot I changed his name already, but yeah, this gameplay is a bit old. Old. Now I decided there's no point to talk about the build at the start, so I'll just talk about it in game. Basically, you either go Bork first or Charge Blade, depending on the enemy team. If they are tankier, you go Bork first. If they are squishier, you go Charge Blade. And I hope I went Charge Blade this game because I honestly can't remember. But yeah, Yon Jungle is still really strong. They nerfed him 1 million times, but it doesn't really make a difference because you just need 2-3 items. And yeah, champ is pretty unfair. The clear speed is not too bad, actually. Because they nerf the W, but you don't really use it that often. It's really long CD, you mostly just use first skill. But yeah, we got Doom on Zeri top, so we will pat to him. Because I don't trust my Ezreal Karma, and it's like pretty impossible to gank them anyway, as you know, before you get your ultimate ability. Now, I chose this game because it's gonna be a pretty, pretty funny one, you know. A lot of interesting things will happen, as you will see very shortly. But yeah, we're just clearing, we're looking at mid, but it's not really gankable. Now, if you don't gank, or if you don't plan on ganking level 3, take 2 points in first ability because you will clear faster. You don't use your third skill for anything if you're not gonna gank, so. You also wanna try to keep your first ability stacks, so you. Get a few seconds off. Oops, I missed. Oh, okay. happens. But yeah, not much going on. We're just chilling. Mid lane is gonna die. I think. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> not much to comment on that. We see Gragas on bot lane, so we will have a free dive on Mr. Aatrox. We check the wave on Zeri. We see she's stacking the wave, so we can. Look for the dive. I'm a bit late actually, I could have maybe skipped blue but it's whatever. Aatrox is low, even if he flashes here he's not gonna escape, he's exhausted and we just can't tap him. Now I will do a pro gamer move which is called fast base because listen, this is all intended okay? I actually knew, I predicted actually, I predicted Gragas will go bot lane. So I will die very quickly and sprint down to my lovely Ezreal who is in need of assistance. See? This is all planned. You see Gragas is already here. Imagine I didn't die on top lane, on the tower. I will be so late. Now we are here in time for the counter gank. Gragas ulted pretty bad, but I'm not level 5 so actually we don't really do much here. <laughs> Happens. But see, it was all... I'm I'm just such a mastermind. Now they overstay here, I saw it's worded, but I can't really go because Lulu has level 5, so it's kinda unplayable. I just help them push out. It's alright. A mission completed successfully. And I felt bad for the Aatrox, you know, he's playing into range top, Doom is just abusing AD carries, especially Zeri. Had to give Aatrox my man some some uh breadcrumbs you know but yeah anyway go back to clearing we see zed is pushed pretty far on mid i'm looking for the third ability first skill but he double is out so not much to get there we just chill as i said as you on the early game you don't really do too much you want to farm as much as possible once you get your bork or charge blade you're pretty pretty strong I'll probably look for something again on bot lane, but I see they're basing, so never mind they're staying. It's pretty hard because if Lulu ults well, I get cocked really bad, but let's see what will happen. Get the ult on the Lulu, she flashes, she doesn't live through this one. It was really well played by Kara. We can get a plate, probably Gragas should be on top side. But we don't see that, so it's a bit risky to stay actually. Okay, we see that now. We can go take the plate. A free money. We don't say no to that. <laughs> nice Jinx ult. <laughs> Shooting fireworks at me. I don't know. He's overstay. I don't know what this guy is doing, by the way. He is griefing. Man, he's so greedy for his two ranged caster minions. 
But yeah, we just push this out and we base so we can play Dragon or Herald. Most likely wanna play Herald. Our Akali is 0-2, he's griefing it. I don't know what's going on. I mean, I, I realize he's not the best player when he died to Zed on mid-level 3, but still. We will just head on out to Herald. We don't see Gragas, but we can assume he's on top side since Karma gave us vision on Dragon. Yep, he just went mid. There is not much I can do to help the Akali. Since, yeah, he's very talented. Put it nicely. I'm looking to get some damage down. We got the Z Flash, which is really good. Gragas is going on to Zeri. Unfortunately, Doom dies here, but I think I can trade. Yeah, I trade the Aatrox, it's all fine. Now here I shouldn't really start this Herald because Zed and Gragas are still around. And I just use my ult and I really don't trust this Akali, but I am one greedy player, so I will go for it anyway. I'm just playing it really slow, I can't really engage instantly, I'm building up my first skill. I'm looking for the window to go in on the Gragas, I go on the Gragas, it ults me, I just take the E back to dodge the shurikens or ult damage. Now here, it was so bullshit because I stayed locked on, I was target locked on Gragas, right? So I smited him instead of the Herald. I mean, I think I would lose the Herald anyway, but maybe I don't die. But I, I, this, this annoys me so much actually. It was my bad, I played it bad because... I didn't expect to still be locked on him, because normally if you lose vision of the target and you're like really really far away, it should unlock, but it doesn't. So it's just stupid. But yeah, anyway. They got the Herald, but it's fine. Doom will get top tower most likely from this. And we actually outscaled them pretty hard, I would say. Other than Gragas, he Herald mid, he will get a lot of plates from this mid in time. For seven minutes, I don't know why fucking why is Jinx ulting me whole game, bro? She's randomly throwing rockets at me when I'm my like, frogs chilling. But yeah, we get the crab. No, we didn't. Jinx stole it. Our Ezreal just eat forward, use this arcane shift into the enemy team. Very, very lovely. Now it's pretty hard to steal this Drake, and it's an ocean, so we don't even have to go for it. But I was like. Ego playing because we lost the herald, so I go and spite it, you know. We get out, we flash, we dodge everything. But uh, I can't really rejoin this fight. So yeah, we got an ocean dragon, constellation prize. I don't know why everyone's walking towards me, I can't even base. But yeah, it's okay, actually. I just wanted my mastermind, 100 gold. This is really close here. I walked forward, but I didn't have to- Look at my Ezreal, man! What is he doing? He can't even auto-attack the Gragas, but at least I got him with my red buff. It's crazy, man. I swear they are- Man, these people! I, I can't say bad words on YouTube, but you know. Akali and Ezreal are a special breed, man. Classic Season 8 uh, geniuses. But yeah, it's alright. Doom is monster fat. He's 8k. He was just free farming top lane, so... Late game Zeri with Karma should be pretty annoying for enemy team and I will be very strong as well. We got the Charge Blade finally. Now this game was a good wits end game because they have Gragas, but... I don't know, on, on Yone I feel like it's really hard to fit it in because I really like a Borg on him. And if I go Borg, Solari and wits end it's like a bit too much much attacks with them, no AD at all, so yeah, it's pretty bad. I'll just have to be thankful I can get mercs, so yeah. It's a lot of action, we need to go top side because Zeri is still very vulnerable to dives, but she's running down that Jinx, like, she's so strong. Okay, do with the flash, and he escapes. Sheesh. We see Lulu is walking around in the river. Classic uh, eager activities. I just ult into first skill charge so she can't ult herself or flash out, she's permasta, the CC master. Now Gragas is top, we don't see Zed, okay Zed is mid, so we can't really push mid tower, we just catch the wave, it's fine. He's trying to 1v1 me. It's pretty hard, oh yeah I missed the first skill. 
pretty hard to win. I tried to dodge shurikens with third skill, which I did. But he just played it better, I guess, or stat checked me. I mean, he had Trinity, so he should win, actually. If I had flash, maybe I could outplay him, but it's really hard right now. Bro, this, <laughs> this Jinx was just flying across the screen. My, my, my guy is not hitting any of them. And we got a lovely 444. Score. KD. See, I'm not a KD player. I told you. Oh my god, that Aatrox build is atrocious, I just saw. But I guess it makes sense against Zeri because he will never reach her without Surreal Dust lose. But yeah, anyway. They want to contest the Herald, but Arakali is in Narnia. She's on the way. We should win this actually, I think. We can easily win it. Yeah, the Gragas just leaves. We get this for free, kinda. Team is too late to rotate. I'm looking for an angle. You always want to look for flanks as Yone. You turn the ability of our wall and ult to surprise the enemy team, but that wasn't a good position, so I just keep farming. I see the Zed is going in. I'm looking for the flank again, but yeah, it's really not an angle. I really want my IE. After IE, you are pretty damn strong. Turning to quite a monster. You can go a lot of crit items on Yone, like the 100% crit cap is not really a thing anymore after they made the changes where you get like bonus stats for extra crit rate. I actually forgot what it even converts to, it was AD or something. But yeah, I remember someone told me they did the math and it's worth going like... Even if you have 100% crit rate on Yone, you can still go like Dotterster or whatever crit items you want. So it's fine. Now we get the mercs, because they have... Gra I mean they don't have a lot of CC, it's mostly just for Gragas, because like I said, I'm not gonna go with Sandan. A bit of magic resist will help, even with Pendant Void, so he doesn't one-tap me instantly. I mean, he still will, but you know what I mean. And they have Lulu Polymorph, so good enough. See some action on mid lane. We are rotating. Our Ezreal inted once again, right before Dragon. It's just a classic. Now we'll Herald mid, we can probably get tower out of this. No, I didn't Herald, I'm stupid. I guess I expected them to be in the bush here. I'm so smart, man. Get a nice combo on the Lulu. And one tapper. I Herald mid now. I have to be careful of Zed here if Zed comes and decides to go on me, but he is top lane, so we're chilling. But it's really hard to play. Look at Gragas damage, I really can't do much. My karma is... I'm trying to heal on the dragon, but the karma is just inking. And the Aatrox flashes on me, so yeah, I'm just dead. Man, the karma... I don't know, like... We shouldn't have kept going. I'm really tilted, and <laughs> you can see I want to FF. This game is winnable, but the Akali is just... I don't know, man. Terrible. The Ezreal is not much better either. But it's fine, we still scale. I just rage, uh, rage FF, but I'm glad they told them no. Me and Doom can carry this for sure. 555 five, five now. Learning to count. I got GA. I actually got GA for it a lot of times on Yone, Yasuo, etc. Because waiting till final item is a bit too much, and especially when they have so much burst, Zed Gragas having the extra life helps quite a lot. But yeah, we will just keep farming. As long as they don't Nash, it's gonna be fine. And it's pretty hard for them. We see Zed, he's going in mid. The Karma is insta dead. Not for me. But we can maybe look for the cleanup. I with the ult, so no cleanup for me. We go back to chilling. We have vision on Nash, so it's fine. We have to be careful of Gragas though. Yeah, he's going in on mid lane, but that is none of my business. I will not be able to help anyway, even if I go there. So I just take my red buff. Oh, there's a wild Aatrox here. He manages to run away. Yeah, I'm just looking for anything, any picks. It's really difficult though. The dudes on me. I actually played it so bad. I auto cast first because I had to flash out. But yeah, this game is 
pretty difficult. Minus 61 seconds until Allied Kali revives. <laughs> yeah, I wish it was 61 seconds so he can't keep inting, but it's only 30, unfortunately. Anyway, we're going bot. We see Karma is doing some work. Ragas ints really hard here, thankfully. It was a nice ult, but it's not enough to keep him alive. We get a big, fat, juicy shutdown. Mmm, tasty. And this will be the start of the comeback, actually. This pick was pretty huge for me. I'll have GA in a bit. You can always use third skill like this. Oops, I don't know why I first skill backwards. You can always use first skill to stack while in the third skill and then catch up. Zed goes for me here. Thankfully, Zeri is nearby. Zonia right when he ults. I have to dodge with my third skill and we make it out. This Zed is quite a fanboy, bro. He's perma ulting me. I mean, his laner, the Akali, is not even worth ulting. I'm pretty sure he won't have seen with auto attack. So, yeah, I understand why he's always ulting me. And the win condition. Gragas is really strong. I think if he hits me with anything, I'm dead. I really need my GA. But I'm still like 1k something off. They pick the, uh, on the Aatrox here, they find the pick on Aatrox. Now here I thought they are fine, I thought they just run away, right? They can easily run away, they have Karma and Ezreal and Zeri. But I think maybe Gragas just flashes on them or something. So yeah, I'm really far away. I have to flank from so far to clean this up. It was really close though, I think if Doom played it better maybe he wins it. But yeah, it was my bad, I should have went with them. I decided to go for the blue buff instead, classic jungler activity. We buffer the ult through Gaga's body slam, really well played. We can't really Nash from this though, uh, like I don't have much damage if I'm the one tanking it and this Akali is not trustworthy. So yeah, the Nash is not a good look and we they have Zed so if he comes and ults me I have no Zonia, no flash, what am I gonna do bro? He's gonna stand there. We just base, we get our GA, lovely. Drake is also up in one minute. But yeah, it should be pretty easily winnable now. I'm Omega strong. We just need to pick someone. As long as we get a pick, it's all good. I see Zed used his W, so I decide to instantly go on him. Thankfully, we get him. I played really well, but holy shit, man. What is this damage? What is this damage? He just one tap me to GA. That's crazy. Chinese PRZZ1 invites you to join their team. I surely will, brother. We start a Nash. Now, this Nash is good, but the only issue is Gragas can one shot it from like 2k HP, so he does not need to be anywhere near it. That's why I go out with first skill, I try to bait him, and thankfully he doesn't. They don't have vision, I think, so he didn't try to do anything. But yeah, we get the Baron. The Drake is up as well, we should just go take it after we push out the mid and we are in a really good spot actually now. I think there is not much that can stop us from winning unless me or Doom Tour go in, but we all know that never happens, right? I didn't die 5 times this game because I was turbo inting. I was just making plays. Yeah, we take plan for vision. Gragas saw because I buffed the minions with Baron, so I tried to find I tried to find him with all, but yeah, it's hard. The fanboy is coming for me, Mr. Zed. Let's try it out. Mm. It's kinda hard to push because Akali's wave is really far away, but Zed just goes in on me. I kite it back as well as I can. I see the opportunity, I flash back in. Sheesh. I see the Gragas body flash. Oh with Zonia. Actually, he missed it. I Like, if Gragas uses his body slam, his third ability, like, when he can never hit you, it's really obvious he can flash. Like, if you get used to it, you can easily predict it. But, yeah. Because people don't bait it, you know? If they're gonna body flash further from 10 meters away, it's obvious what they're gonna try to do. Okay, I hope that made sense. Anyway, we can end now. Everyone's dead. I'm just swag walking. I bought BT last item, I don't even remember why. Oh, because I, I was thinking like, if I go more, he one-shots me anyway. But yeah, that's the GG. It was a pretty clean comeback. Well, clean. I died 20 times, but still. It was all part of the plan. 
that's it for the video. I think how many challenges they had. I don't think I checked this game. My MVP even. Or Doom Yoink did. Oh, I am MVP. Easy. Big poacher. Damage, not too bad. I love Dakali. Very useful buddy. A GM. They had one challenger, two challengers. Yeah, two versus two. Fair. But yeah, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching.